All right. This is looking tasty. Ladies and gents, welcome to some migration regicide action. We have eight kings. We have eight players from the community. And as always, they are ready to kill each other. Uh, in the teal, we have Raynan, longtime community member, playing as the Vikings. In the purple, we have Panna. Panna's playing in his or her first community game here. So I'm excited for Panna. Forgot to build a house, but whatever. The nerves are real. Panna's playing as the Byzantines. Um, in the blue, we have Sir Explosive Hopper. That's right, the legend. One month, maybe a month and a half ago, we had Sir Explosive Hopper in a transport ship with all of his population in the middle of a lake. Somehow decided to, or somehow convinced everyone in the game to turn against each other. And then he came back to win it all with some amazing Diplo. So we have Sir Explosive Hopper, a legend reappears. In the orange, we have Strode. And Strode is a player who's very well equipped to play in these community games. Uh, since the start of community games and start of him joining a community, he's really improved. So I think he's the best 1v1 player in this game, around 15 or 1600s. Uh, but we also, we, we trash talk a little bit. We make some jokes about Strode because he is really good. Everyone knows that. And one time he died with like 30,000 gold in the bank. So anytime someone died with a lot of resources in the bank, a couple years ago, we would call it a Strode. Uh, he is playing as the Celts. In the green, I always say non-fox, and every time he's like, that's not how you say it, which is why I say it. Uh, we have non-fox playing as the Indians. In the gray, with this amazing-looking tower, we have the Mayans for spearmint. Uh, they all start with a fortified tower, but I'd never seen a Mayan fortified tower before. Are they? Are those steps? Like, at this point, this is like a ladder. I get what they're trying to do. There's no way you could climb up that... In the red, we've got Jerry Coke. Jerry Coke playing as the Tatars. In the yellow, we've got Condorcet playing as the Malay, and that is everybody. They start on an island. There's no boars. You've just got some deer, some sheep, or cows, I guess. And then a few resources to work with. Normally, you see a lot of fishing. And then you see transport to the mainland, where it can get very cramped for space. So that's about it. And look at the chatting already. Surprise, surprise from Sir Explosive Hopper. He says, hey, Spearman. This is Diplo, by the way. Let's ally, smiley face. Now, it's an interesting choice because Gray is on the other side. But notice that Gray is also bottom score right now. So maybe Sir Explosive Hopper is trying to get some of the weaklings on his side first. Or some of the, not the weaklings, that's rude. You know, some of the people who are less capable, maybe. Okay. Yellow says, so how does this map work? Uh, that's that's a little concerning for Yellow's future. But, you know, migration might not be enough per the name for Yellow to know how it works. And they explain it, because my community is freaking awesome. Main resource is Middle Island. There's a big island in the middle. Transport to the middle. And Yellow says, thanks. Um... DJ Renom says, hey, T90, one little question. I'm thinking about buying some stuff off your shop, but I want to know if it's possible to ship to France. So it is, I believe it is possible to ship to virtually everywhere. The issue might be shipping cost. So so honestly, this is a really good thing to bring up because um, I've been talking about my merch a little bit more and, and promoting it a little more. So we actually had about like 20 purchases over the last month, which is a lot for my merch shop. Um... You know, if you guys are ever looking at merch or whatever, and the shipping becomes a big issue, I wouldn't mind maybe, uh, you know, a, a little email about it. Just say, like, hey, I'm from here, and the shipping ended up being this. Because I, I don't know, right? And there are different websites that do merch, and maybe eventually I could switch it over. But Teespring is super easy, and it's good quality. I have heard, though, that for some people, maybe the shipping is a bit of just not worth it for them. I guess either way, you can't really avoid that, but i it's just something I, I want to keep in mind, so. Jerry Coke says, hey, Orange, I'm colorblind and won't be able to see you on the minimap. Want to be friends? <laughs> uh, that's a new one. That's a new one. Age of Empires 2 just continues to surprise. I've never once heard someone pitch an alliance based on the colors. Jerry says, I can't see you because I'm colorblind. Will you be friends with me? And Strode accepts. I feel like that's not a very good way to open up a relationship. That's like saying, 
Uh, hey girl, I can't find anyone else, and you seem, you Hello. seem desperate. Do you wanna, do you wanna hang out? She'd be like, uh, sure, but she doesn't think like, oh, he loves me. I don't know. Yes. Sir Explosive Hopper says, is anyone else missing a boar? Yes, there are no boars on this map, Sir Explosive Hopper. So literally everyone is missing a boar. The dock positions look pretty good. I'm normally able to tell who's going to do well based on that. Glad to see Panna. First community game is docked. Good stuff. We have a transport already for Raynan. A teensy bit early, honestly. Normally you want a few more fishing ships. And Raynan maybe getting to the mainland a bit earlier. Just to get some scouting out here. Could always take some of the gold in the middle. Save your gold in the island for later. But what I love about this map, guys, is the potential for snipes. If Snippy was in this game, he'd be transporting with petards and cab archers and trebs. Because most people will keep their king on their island, and you always know where they are. Yeah. Hmm, okay. And we talk about the fact that villagers catch fish every single time they throw out a net. I spent eight hours fishing without catching anything. I know, it's, it's just crazy how bad you are at fishing. <laughs> I know what you thought I was going to say. You thought I was going to say it's crazy how unrealistic this game is, but I got you, buddy. Whoa, look at that tower. What the crap, man? This is amazing. Sorry I got excited about the fortified towers, but they look completely different than regular towers. Okay, so let's go around in a circle before this game becomes action-packed. And let's actually do ratings on a scale of 1 to 10 for the, uh, for the towers. Okay, we're going to start here. We have Jerry Coke. Tatars. I'm going to say five and a half. It even looks like part of the building is like it's been disturbed or something. So, yeah, they need to rebuild that. I'm going to say five and a half. I'm unimpressed. Uh, here we've got the Malay Tower. I wish I could zoom in more. What I like about the Malay Tower is the staircase. That's really cool. The outer staircase would probably suck when it rains. I'm going to give this a six and a half. Not bad. Um, the Viking one. It's just like. It is cool, but I'm also not. I'm going to give that a six. I don't know. It just doesn't. It actually doesn't even look like a Viking tower to me. That's what it is. It just doesn't feel Viking-esque to me. There's not enough horns and furs hanging off of it. Uh, what about this one? Who do we got? The Byzantines. I mean, it might be the angle, but it looks very similar to the Malay one, so I'm going to give that another six. Clearly, I'm unimpressed. This is, like, the same exact tower, so I guess we go six for Spanish. Here we've got... Oh, this one's got to be a seven, just based on the fact that it's nostalgic. Do you guys remember the Tower of the Flies? When you go to this scenario editor and you could make certain towers, there was one that was just like this called the Tower of the Flies. They had these in the campaign, which is why it sticks with me. This isn't bad. Okay. Uh, and then, I mean, this one here, I think we're going to go with a nine. This had unfortunately caught my eye before, so it really ruined the rating scale. But this is a nine. It almost looks like... It, I mean, the top of it looks kind of like something aliens would be a part of, you know? And then this one's pretty cool, too. I'm going to give this a... A nine. We'll, we'll have two nines to close it off. Gotta love the Mayan architecture. You guys definitely are not as big a fan as I am of some of these towers. We've got a lot of zeros in chat. Yes. Okay, back to the chat here. Back to the Diplo. Uh, Purple Teal, talking only to you guys. Want to make trade along northeast corner of map? Rainin says yes, and Panis is okay. So at this point... Sir Explosive Hopper has requested an alliance with Gray, and Gray did not respond. But now has an alliance with Purple and Teal. And now Sir Explosive Hopper says, Yo, Green Orange, talking only to you! I don't think Strode can be trusted. I'm just going to say that right now. <laughs> Wanted to make a trade along northwest corner of the map. So he's making the same pitch to the other two. And let's see what they say. Of course, he's changing his chat settings, so they can't see that he's also talking to the others. 
So if things go as planned, he's going to have trade with four individuals out of the seven that's in this game alongside him. Green says yes, and Strode says long term, certainly. What kind of response is that? I think that Strode saying, yeah, but I'm not going to trade right now, basically. Like, yes, that works in the long term, but I'm not going to trade right now. Okay, interesting. Well, who's in the middle? We've got a scout moving around here for green. Not bad. We've got some villagers here for red. We do have some players on the way to Castle Age. We also have Gray still in Dark Age. Which is a little concerning for Gray. Yellow says, just to you, Orange. Want to team up. And Green's like, what? Is it not shared exploration? What is this? Uh, you don't have a market yet, buddy. You need a market for that. You make a market, then you'll be you'll have shared exploration with your allies. And now we see that information being passed along from Blue. As we have a TC here for Strode. Again, guys, keep an eye on Strode. I do think he is going to be one of the strongest players in this game. But it has been a while since he's been in the community game. He couldn't believe that he got in this one. Okay. And Green says, duh. As in, like, how stupid could I be? <laughs> but we've got a TC here now for Purple. I mean, it might be Purple's first community game, but Purple's pretty solid here. Pretty solid. This TC creating Vils, adding a new TC already. Lots of fish out there. Of course, you could lose the fish if someone goes navy. And someone was going navy. Did anyone catch that? Forgive me, I should have realized this earlier. But I could have sworn someone was massing galleys somewhere. Now I don't see it. There's no kills. I don't see any docks garrison, so maybe I was seeing something. No, 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 yellow. Yellow's doing it. Well, maybe yellow's just doing it now. But yeah, it's definitely getting some navy out there, and that... If you control the seas, you control where kings can go, you control where villagers can go to the mainland. Okay. Friends, Teal, I am a man of peace. Me too, says Raynan. All right. So we've got, we've got a peaceful friendship there. The only player we haven't really heard from is little old Spearman. But I have to imagine Spearman is probably a little focused on the whole gameplay thing here. Does seem to be lagging behind some of the others, so... Is more focused on the gameplay and trying to get things right there, which is understandable. Alright, TC here for green. I don't like being on the peninsula here. I, I would not like this position. I would want to travel further inland. Kind of like Strode's position here. As Strode's at 71 eco. Second place is 53, and that's purple. And Celts are no joke here. So, you're going to have to keep an eye out for Strode. He's going to invest into farming yes. eco, too. I saw him getting his farming upgrades. So, you use the fish at the start for lots of food income. You use that food income to create vills, and then you farm like a madman. Strode says, yellow, don't be over aggro, though. Others can see you having war galley. Which is a very good point. It's a very helpful tip from Strode. That's very true. Yes. Because people are going to think, yeah, why is this guy making navy? You have to have a balance there. And yellow acknowledges that and says yes, no. But yeah, five TCs for Strode. So 84 villagers. He's just going to continue to climb and climb and climb and climb and climb. And what's interesting is he doesn't have a really high score right now. You'd think with that population he would. It's not over yellow because yellow's making navy. Navy score is always very high. Interesting, we've got a university here for Raynan, as he's got his TCs going. A castle for purple. It's all about securing off pieces of land here for yourself. And look at Jerry adding more fishing ships with the TCs too. Not bad, not bad. Yellow here as well. So all players fairly similar with their outlook, except for, like I said, maybe gray. We'll see if Gray gets to communicate with anyone. We haven't seen a lot of typing here to him or by him. And Perp is making me nervous with that castle, says Yellow. And now Strode says talk to him. Did, did we miss something where Yellow and Orange talked at the beginning about the alliance? Oh, no, it was Yellow who did that. Yellow asked Strode about teaming up. Because they're on the other side of the map. 
So it's interesting how they're communicating, like they're, they're next door neighbors. There's no offense, but a lot of the reason I ally with people is because of their location. It's not necessarily because of who they are. Yes. Yellow says, hey, perp. Purple says, yes. Um. Yellow is now typing, most likely. <laughs> to say, like, hey, what are you doing? I mean, that castle's not too bad, though. I, I don't think that castle's that bad. If the castle was here, then I'd be a little annoyed. This castle's fine. There's nothing wrong with this castle. It's red up to. Still adding fishing ships. Like, crazy numbers of fishing ships. Not bad. I love to see docks back here and have your fish traps be back here. That'd be beautiful. <laughs> I feel like... I feel like we need a Kami game with Varyon and Strode in the same game. <laughs> oh man, Strode's eco though. 110 villagers. Still adding more, getting all of his mining techs. He's getting his farm techs, he's getting everything. Now, Celts aren't that great on water, but they can go for demos there. I guess they do have Galleon, but not the best Galleons. It's more about land for them though. I'd say castles and world raiders and siege. That's where the Celts become hard to stop. Okay, now if I'm yellow, I'd be a little questionable about this castle. But then again, it's like, where else is Red supposed to place it? He used to protect himself. That's the problem with migration is people start butting heads and they don't trust each other and it gets really dicey. Wow, very fast imp here for purple. And now yellow is going to be even more uh, upset about his position here because he could make trebs. It's cheaper to go imp with Byzantine, so I guess that's what Purple took advantage of here, but don't think we're going to have anything real aggressive just yet from this. I'm not sure, like, someone just said Strode's going to be ganged up on. I'm not so sure on that, because Blue is clearly playing the long game. He went full alliance, so he's trading this way, and he also wants to trade the other way. So I think everyone likes Blue, but Blue's not going to attack Green. Or, or, sorry, orange. And then green would get completely wiped by Strode. Like, I think Strode's going to be so strong here that there's not going to be a lot they can do. Blue won't do it. Green can't do it. And then who else is going to gang up on him? I think that, if anything, Strode will have to kill one or two people before that happens. But I think Strode's also going to be mindful of that. This is what becomes a struggle in these Diplo games. Is that if you hoard resources and you don't attack, they're going to attack you eventually. But if you boom up and then you do attack early, you're going to kill one or two people and then everyone else will turn on you. So he's got a big old target on his back. 162 eco. But again, the reputation for Strode is he's known in community games for holding a lot of resources. So we'll see if he can achieve that. Look, more TCs. He's got like seven TCs on the mainland right now. We'll see. You're damned if you do, damned if you don't, if you're Strode. I think the best play for you is have one strong ally to trade with, and then you just kill everyone else. I think that's your best bet. Because the longer you wait, the more people are going to think, hmm, maybe we should kill him instead of not giving them that time. Here goes Sir Explosive Hopper. He says, hey, Orange, what's the plan? Now, how many viewers watching on the stream right now are familiar with Sir Explosive Hopper's story? Oh my god. Wait a second. Yes. Oh my fr- Guys. <laughs> uh, Strode says, I think purple is the most obvious target. <laughs> He's an imp already. Blue says, would you like to stay allies until the end since trade is important? And Strode's like, agreed. And then Blue is now asking Purple what the plan is. <laughs> and Purple says, snipe orange. And the king is literally right there. And then Strode says, Purple, you're in all chat. Strode calls him out. Oh, Purple, what a fail! What a fail! It's his first community game. He didn't know he could switch the chat. 
Uh oh. Purple says oops, and he's just gonna sail away like just a prank, bro. And I mean, Strode could see that, right? He could see, because he's allied with Purple, so he could see that. And Strode was, I think, aware that it was there, because he was just sit sitting back talking. Either way, Purple ruined it. Purple says sorry, going back. And Strode's like, well, that's our target sorted right there. So now they have a target. And so Sir Explosive Hopper says, yep, I will get purple once I'm in him. But you'll notice Sir Explosive Hopper has aligned himself with orange and green via trade. And then also he's kind of taking care of purple uh, by setting him up to fail against, uh, against teal. Or not against teal, sorry, against orange. Watch out, your king, says Purple. Poor Purple. He's probably so embarrassed by that. It's happened so many times, though. And I guess Blue said, thank you, Purple. So it was Purple who just said, watch out with your king to Blue. Of course, you know, Purple has no clue that Blue is plotting against him right now. But to be fair to Blue, Blue's also not talking about killing him himself. We are going to see Relic number three come back to the starting island for Sir Explosive Hopper, who is Spanish, by the way. Also, we have the classic Doc block back here. Strode has 175 villagers with 40 idols. Perp FYI, talking to you. Make sure chat settings correct. Orange planning to snipe you, so watch out. What? He's playing both sides again. This is what he did before. Kind of. And then he eventually, like, played Puppet Master and turned everyone that was against him against each other. Yes. Blue, will you assist me in fighting against Purple? So just seconds later, Strode says this. And Sir Explosive Hopper says, yes, what do you want me to make? Yellow, can I count on your support when I'm going to take out Purple? Okay, okay, here's the thing, Strode. You have 9,000 score, and, like, yes. little old purple has very little compared to you. I don't think you need this much support. It might be a Diplo thing, though. He says, I have many docks, will make galleys. The so blue says, I'll make galleys, and yellow just says yes. Maybe this is Strode testing to see who he can trust here. We will see. Uh, any other updates? I don't think so. Red's got a navy, which is always good to have to protect the king on the island. You've got Gray. Gray's in Castle Age. Um, with very little control. And Red just disconnected. No, no, thanks, DE. Red's game disconnected. Ah. Uh, he dropped. Dang it. Thanks, DE. It's a, it's a shame the disconnection still happened, but uh, F's to pay respects, and we have to move on. If it was an event with, you know... If it was higher stakes than just the community games, like the Regicide Rumble event coming up, we would, of course, restore it, but... That sucks, man. I hate to see that. Sir Exposer Hops. They're talking about it. They just want to make sure that no one killed him. Because they want to know who did it. Yeah, thanks, DE. Okay. T90 has a very pleasant voice to listen to. Well, thank you, my friend. Thank you. I I'm happy I could put you to sleep. Or so I've heard. So you know what uh, Sir Explosive Hopper's situation kind of reminds me of right now, chat? I think he's going to go full I sit mode. Like, think about it. So he... Uh, is taking his relics to his island. He's got 9k gold. And he's just trading with the Spanish trade bonus to get as much gold as possible. I believe he's just going to bank res and eventually try and fully control water while everyone else goes for the land in the middle. And Gray was defeated by all oh, by Green's camels. That was not a disconnect. Green, say it was a disconnect. Green, you need to say it's a disconnect. And then they might believe you. That would be so funny. Like, ah, thanks, DE. That's what you should say right now. Thanks, DE. Wow, look at this from Strode. He says, pay me a thousand gold and stone 
then I will let you keep the mainland. So Strode is threatening people right now. I'm going to go to Strode's point of view and see how many resources he banks up with this. Wow. Okay. I think green wants to snipe you is what blue says. Strode says he can try. He won't. And, I mean, I think Sir Explosive Hopper is, is because he saw the transports. He's being genuine here. But I don't think that will ever happen because Strode has his king here. And, whoa! Strode said you have until 4230 to respond. And no one has responded. Okay, here come the Rams. Guys, these are Kelt Rams. 400 HP. PC breaking numbers of Rams. This is getting stuttery right now. Purple, he's going for you, says Blue. I mean, how stressful and annoying must it be to have to switch your chat settings all the time? These are elite cataphracts for Purple. He could take care of the Rams. Apologies for the performance, but it is Age of Empires 2. And there's a lot of moving parts here right now. So Strode's got 14,000 gold. He's got Halbs on the way. He's got the Rams too. The Rams are going to be the toughest thing to deal with. You do have rain in here in the Imperial Age without Arbalest, which is kind of weird. And also sending Navy this way. So I think they're going to try and hit Strode on water and on land. That's a lot of Rams, but there's also not a ton of support for the Rams. So it's just a question of if the castles go down here. Okay, and blue is now talking to green, saying, what's your plan? And green's like, well, red dropped, and I just took out gray. Oh, he was saying, take red, and red already dropped. But man, Celt Sea Drams are no joke, people. And we've also got Trebs from yellow at the same time. So remember, yellow is teamed up with Strode. That is a what I call a real alliance. I don't think there's any plan beyond that for yellow. I think he wants to be with Strode till the end. My game is crashing, LMAO. That's a bit too many rams for my PC. <laughs> this is raining. Whoops. That's kind of interesting. Because teal and yellow are allied. But teal is attacking orange. I feel like that doesn't add up. I feel like eventually something's going to have to change there. Because yellow, of course, is buddy-buddy with orange. And purple is in big trouble here. Big trouble. I mean, I don't see how you hold this on your own. Even with the, the support that's coming in, you just have no no control of the mainlands. Now you've got no fortifications at your base where your king is. The yellow is saying too many for mine too as PCs are melting right now. Why is it that every time someone plays in their first community game, you freaking punks have to go after them? <laughs> Purple did nothing wrong. Actually, to be honest, I think what Purple did wrong in this game was he just didn't communicate as much. That's really the only thing. You do need to communicate a little bit more. But wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. There is a king inside of that tower. However, the tower's gather point is set inside of the castle. So will yellow notice this? This is an old community game trick. That buys you more time. You see there, he lost the tower. But when the tower got garrisoned, it garrisoned into the castle. And now the Karambit Warriors arrive. The Karambit Warriors will defend this. A great job from Yellow to prep for that. And notice this. And that's apparently all Green wants to do. Is just transport camels and snipe kings. And I, I kind of like that. I mean, you don't see it every day. But I think that's a pretty cool attempt. Okay. Yeah, I guess it didn't help Purple that he said publicly in front of everyone, I'm going to kill Orange. <laughs> now that I think about it, that was a pretty big mistake. Yeah. yeah that, that bummer has definitely come back to haunt him. Here comes Navy from Yellow now. And Teal... And Blue's here as well. So Blue's actually fighting back against Yellow? Is that what I'm seeing? That's not what I'm seeing. Why did I see flame there? Oh no, he just changed yellow to ally just now. And guys, look at this. We've got a lot of the crazy Spanish Navy over here. And he says, yellow, we friends, don't attack my trade, man. Yes. Okay, so I guess yellow was attacking the trade. 
Not sure if he actually was, though. Maybe Sir Explosive Hopper saw something, but it's zero deaths for Sir Explosive Hopper. But Teal is here attacking Strode. We know that much. And I think Strode just needs to decide who he wants to kill, and he can kill them right now. With the exception being maybe the Viking player, if the Viking player goes full Berserks. But, I mean, they're not elite. They're missing some upgrades. So, yeah, I don't think that's a big concern. Yellow and orange are the Empire. Purple and blue are the Rebels. Maybe. Definitely feels like blue's going to lean more towards purple here, but he's not going to be obvious about it. He says, yellow, let's kill orange. Score too high. So this is a really important moment in the game because yellow could snitch and then blue could be in big trouble. Will yellow snitch? And now he goes green. What do you think about orange? He's Celts too strong. And now we have yellow saying green ally me and we kill orange. So guys, Strode is dominating. He's doing a really good job. However, Blue has, has done exactly what he did before. Like he, It's not just him, to be fair. But in the Legend of Explosive Hopper, he did the exact same thing. He turned people against each other. But Green's not about it. Green says, what will you pay me to yellow? So that's not going to go over well. That is not going to go over well at all, especially because yellow has nothing. So that's actually bad for the, for the game plan because yellow might... Day. Well, I should work with Orange then. No, he's attacking him. Never mind. And now watch. I bet you Blue's going to be like, Orange, I got your back. Look, he says, Green telling me to attack you. What do we do? So he's giving Strode the power, making Strode feel like he's in charge here. When in reality, that could not be furthest from the case. Strode says, I already have four against me. And Blue's like, well, I won't attack you. Even though I orchestrated the entire thing and gave everyone the idea to do it, which leaves me blameless in this situation, I won't attack you. Hey, Orange, only to you. Blue looking to backstab, dot, 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 dot. And Strode says, so are you, I've heard. Okay, this is the first time that Explosive Hopper might be called out for his, his backstabbing here. Because Green is actually confiding in Orange about the situation. He's a good ally for now, Blue. Well, Green, you have to realize that Strode is being... He's being attacked big time right now. Like, you have to realize that this is like a really big moment for him. And you kind of need to step up and show your worth right now. Because Blue just said he wasn't going to attack him, which is something. I got Yellow to pay me. No plans to backstab. Yellow's already attacking Orange, though. Like, so, so I think Green doesn't realize this. And now he's attacking Yellow, so I'm confused. Huh. I, I think Yellow is like, why are you attacking me? Because I paid you. The Green hasn't actually made any changes to his alliances. Now, Strode at one point was the king... But now there's too many people against him. And now this is a problem for Explosive Hopper. The problem is he actually has top score. But he's not attacked a single person. So how much will his will his kindness buy him? Because eventually people might start to point the finger at him. King here says Teal. So he signals where Strode's king is. Strode's got a lot of elite woads here. He could hold for a while. However, Elite Woads do get wrecked by Elite Berserks if the Zerk numbers are high, which they're not. And if the upgrades are in, which they're not. And now Green is going after Yellow. Which kind of... That, that's confusing to me. I believe he does not realize Yellow was actually attacking Strode. Well, no, maybe that's why he's doing it. I think he still wants to fight with Strode. So I think he's like, haha, I got resources from Yellow. What a chump. And he's still fighting alongside Strode here. Because he thinks... That Blue is, is fighting with him as well. No one seems to realize that Blue's not. And no one's calling him out on it. Look how safe it is over here. I will say this, okay? Because there's going to be a few people who are like, well, Sir Explosive Hopper isn't fighting. And I don't respect that, okay? 
There are a lot of community games where players do what Explosive Hopper's doing and they just sit back and they get called out on it right away because they haven't yes. shown value, okay? Sir Explosive Hopper, what he's done a great job of is he's shown value. He's talked to people, he's communicated with people, he's confided in people, and so none of them even think to look over there and say, oh, what's he doing? We need to kill him. It's not even on the cards. Strode says, I talked Green out of backstabbing me. And Sir Explosive Hopper immediate to, immediately turns around and says, Green, Orange said he will try to kill you after he snipes Purple's King. This is absolute lies. Absolute lies. And immediate. Like, he didn't even think about it. It just comes so natural to him. And now what will Green do? Will Green take the bait? Sir Explosive Hopper is a diplomacy legend, man. This is like... This is blue coffee levels of, of deception. And it's continuous. And green, of course, is focused on yellow. So he's still focused there. Yellow having some issues here. And it's actually... It means that Strode is going to be okay. But now we have navy from purple coming in on Strode. Green, watch out. Yellow fleet south of your base. Wow, this is so fascinating because now this is truth. It's like, what's a lie and what's not? He's told the truth with some of the things that he says. Green, mind if I build docks in your island for trade, says Strode. And no one's talking about the fact that Sir Explosive Hopper hasn't had a single kill in this game. No one seems to care. Because they don't know. Because... There's so much crap going on around them right now. He does a really good job of not making it obvious. I have tried. Granted, I'm the streamer, right? So people always want to kill me, but... Like, people call others out on their BS all the time when people try and do this. But guys, for Yellow, I mean... He just transported his king back to his island. He's in trouble here. He's lost a lot of ground here. But Strode's back in business. Strode's back in business to push on land. As Strode is now losing his water, though. Remember, his king is on the mainland. Though he may lose his eco here. Also does not have any trade. Meanwhile, green is being attacked. It could be the end for green, because I think green's king is here. Yep, green's king is inside of that wonderfully looking tower. Camels will be killed off, I think, by these two-handed swordsmen eventually. And this is insane. We haven't seen Blue talk in a while. Blue is researching Paladin at the moment and is banking a lot of resources. And even full walling around this right now. It's like he's blocking the, the little choke here. Wait, what's happening? Is he going to build a castle there, maybe? Oh, he's going to wall it. Wow, okay. Oh, this has definitely reached the sweaty point of the game. And Strode says, Yellow, why are you letting Teal and Purple use you? <laughs> this is funny. I, I think that Strode thinks that Yellow is with Purple, which I don't think is the case at all, right? No, he's not. And here, Explosive Hopper, he realizes that Strode is get maybe getting a little desperate. He says, Orange, you need sling for res. The yellow says, I will really if you help with green. I have no clue what that means, but I think he's saying I'm, I need help right now. And I'm still a team with you. Strode's like, I don't need resources, but I need naval power. Okay, this is a problem. This is a problem. Because the Navy's been sitting here forever. And this is where Sir Explosive Hopper has to say something. He says, yes, I am now going to snipe purple. This is perfect. This is perfect. It's the perfect time to turn on purple because he can it strengthen his continuous alliance with Strode. Purple has already done so much to damage Strode and Strode will never think twice about the fact that Sir Explosive Hoppers is just trying to coast this one out to victory while having very few enemies. This is actually perfect. I think he will do this. And I remember purple has no island control. 
So it's just funny because the attack from purple on orange is actually really, really tough for Strode to stop. So it feels like purple's big and strong when he's really not. Not to the average player who's got some water control anyways. So what could happen here is Sir Explosive Hopper will actually kill purple and then say, there you go, Strode. Strode will say, thank you. And there goes the Spanish <laughs> galleons. Oh my god, and rip to the king. Well, Purple, it's your first community game, my friend. You learned some lessons with the chat, but what an epic way to go out. Have you ever seen that? Castle one-shotted by cannon galleons, and king gets bonked in the face by 50 cannonballs. So now if I'm blue, I would be like, hey, I did that for you. And look, Strode's like, massive, great job. That was a great snipe. Really shows how easy it is, though, to snipe someone if they don't have their king on land. The islands are super vulnerable. Oh, good job from green, by the way, to take some of these resources. I don't want to fight you. I only care about green, says yellow. And now Sir Explosive Hopper's like, all right, Strode, you're the king. What's next? And Strode's like, aha! I've got so much power. I get to tell people what to do. And 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 uh, it's important to note that orange says to yellow, "Me too." I I think that's I think that means he wants to kill green. What's next on the menu, sir? So I kill teal and you kill green. Okay. Interesting. I don't know if that message got through to Blue or if he cares about that. 13,000 gold, by the way. Also, what's the price of wood? He hasn't really been buying it. I was curious if he was buying wood. He's just chopping it and no one's really stopping him because they're fighting each other and not him. Ahmed says the stream quality is not good. Is anyone else having issues right now? I didn't hear anyone else say anything about quality issues today. You're watching 1080p, and it looks like it's 720p. Uh, maybe change it from normal latency to low, or off low latency to normal latency? Because it feels weird that no one else has said that. The game itself is laggy. Like, yes, yes. the game itself is very choppy. So that might, that might come off as low quality. Okay. Let's just do nothing. Mob up Purple's Navy to lock our trade. And Hopper says, yes, I will clear his ships. And Strode says, I will just slam Teal. I'm not sure you can slam Teal if Raynan remembers blacksmith upgrades are a thing. Elite Berserks wreck Wode Raiders. Okay. Yeah, I'm not dropping any frames. The game itself is super stuttery. I think this is the game. This is what I'm seeing as well. So hopefully you guys aren't having any issues. Blue, what are we thinking? And Blue says, Orange said nothing, so I'm just cleaning up purple ships. Okay. So of the players remaining in this game, I think everyone but Yellow has an agreed upon alliance with Blue. Okay, so now we have a collective conversation. Green and Orange want to take out Yellow, maybe. I mean, the words just came out of my mouth that Yellow's the only one that doesn't have an agreement with him. I got nothing on land, but I will go kill his water, yes. says Blue. Okay. I mean, this makes sense for everyone, actually. This makes sense for everyone. Because if yellow's out of the picture, green is then going to feel much better about things, right? Yellow also has no navy control, so all of this would get taken out. And yellow was an ally for Strode, but hasn't really benefited Strode in a while, so. Strode's now adding docks, though, so he is going to try something. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Guys, the king is going to be out in the open for green. Does he know this? Oh, he demoed him. He does know this, but now his king's out in the open. And blue says, yellow, here to help you. We'll take care of that right now. And now he's going to turn on green. Okay, green, you need to snitch. Green, right now, before you die, you need to snitch. No way. 
He literally told Green I'm gonna help you and is gonna show up and kill him. He's gonna help him to death. And now Green is killed. This is insane, dude. This is insane diplomacy. Like, he's got so much Diplo APM. He's out of his mind. And he also told Yellow... Like, I can't... This is I can't wrap my head around this. He told one guy, hey, I'm gonna help you. And told the other guy, hey, I'm gonna help you. And benefited from both lies. Let's kill Orange, guys. So now, the only people that are left are people who already want to kill Orange. How long until this sinks in for Strode? How long until Strode realizes how bad this is going to be? I, I hope that Strode puts up a really big fight. And, and like, as he's dying, he tells the world, like, hey... Blue has been sitting back here trading. Blue has done this, 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 and this. I hope he starts to, like... Maybe it doesn't dawn on him because he doesn't see all the chat we're seeing. But, yeah. He, at the very least, if he doesn't think that Blue has been real backstabby... As he's making a wonder! No, wait, wait, no, this is a, this could be a mistake. It takes some big cojones to build this wonder, because you can win with the wonder, people. You can win with the wonder, and he turns on Strode, too. So he turns on Strode, he starts to build a wonder. If he can complete this wonder, which is a thousand wood, a thousand stone, a thousand gold, and keep it up, he will win this game, and no one else will. The problem is, when building a wonder, this attracts a lot of attention. And the trade is going down for Teal. And Teal says, Blue, there goes my trade, now we die. But I think he doesn't realize the wonder. I think he's saying you're killing my trade, so we're gonna die to Orange, but that's not gonna be the case. And now, okay, Orange is the first person to say it. He's like, truce to kill Blue. All three of these guys need to have a truce right now to kill Blue. I mean, th that wonder's gonna take a long time to complete. He says, execute order 66. And now Strode's like, you know what? That's a good idea. He says, agreed. He has 50k gold now. About 17k, but might as well be 50k compared to the 4k you have. The 700 gold yellow has. And now Teal, I mean, he had trade running, but all that trade is running into the ships. So his trade's going to be gone. And I think they have now officially started this alliance. Raynan says, Blue, I now have time to war with you. And Orange at the same time. So Raynan hasn't allied Orange yet? Okay, so we have Orange and Teal against each other. We have Yellow with Orange and Yellow with Teal. But you know what sucks for the land players is that they have no way of getting back on the water. Just like, no way. And you've got some docks down here for Strode. You've got docks, I guess, for yellow. Yellow is going to start to mass navy. That's going to take a while. Strode says, Teal, you have to unite with us to kill blue. This is true. Brainin might not want to. He might be kind of so annoyed with Strode, he might not want to. And where's blue's king? Blue's king is in the tower. Yeah, Orange's Island is getting wiped out. I think Strode is correct in what he's saying. If they have any chance, they all need to work together right now. And they need to try and kill Sir Explosive Hopper. These Spanish cannon galleons fire extremely fast. They will kill everything in sight. Their only hope is if they have Navy to deal with this. Or somehow a lucky transport. And by the way, Blue is still trading down here. Though that's going to get contested... <laughs> He's still trading with Teal. Wait, does Teal ally with him? Teal is not allied with him, but Teal doesn't have navy, I guess. So the trade's just still running. Oh, man. That's a lot of gold. All right, well, Wonder's going to be completed, guys. Thankfully, he was Spanish. It took a while to build. And 350 years is now the wait. And I can't help but be re reminded of... The blue coffee game from three years ago. Do you guys remember that on Pilgrims? 
where he lost four villagers to a wolf. And then at one point, he backstabbed MBL of all people, killed a pro player in MBL, and then screamed die. And then ended up winning later with the wonder, and no one knew what to do because everyone forgot. Do you guys remember that? It's kind of what this feels like here. Now, you do have Teal starting to make uh, longboats. However, the issue for Teal is he needs to say goodbye to his land military in order to get the longboats. He needs to delete, like, 60 army on land because the... At least currently, the land army does nothing for them. It's just a waste of pop space. And then Strode... What's Strode up to? Strode is rebooming with bills right now. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. He needs houses. He needs a lot. And Raynan was defeated by who? By Blue! Oh my god, dude! He killed another one! He can a galleon down the castle. He uses the cav archers. And now, the only player who maybe would give them a chance at taking out Sir Explosive Hopper, which would have been with the longboats, is dead. He has played them all like a gigantic community game fiddle here. And now, surely there's no way, dude. Yes. There's no way. This guy's too good. There's no way. We have to blow up the navy. Yellow says yes. Yellow. Okay, Strode says I'll get demo. Oh, okay. All right. Celts get heavy demo. That's good. He does have some resources. So, okay, he'll go demo. And yellow's going fast fires. Now, the only thing I'd say about Blue's current position is that he doesn't have a lot of galleons. He's got a lot of cannon galleons. And cannon galleons are amazing against buildings. And they are... Spanish cannon galleons are also good against other ships. But you do sometimes want regular ships as well. This guy's just incredible, dude. <laughs> This guy, this guy's just incredible. Like, to, to scheme it is one thing, but to actually execute it and just type so much, play everyone like a fiddle is incredible. I don't want to, like... I, I might need to think about it and look back at community games of the past. But I think Sir Explosive Hopper is Blue Coffee level. I mean, Blue Coffee had, I think, five straight wins with playing people like a fiddle. I'd be surprised if Sir Explosive Hopper can get many more that are quite this good. But holy crap, man. This is even more impressive than the last time. Strode is ready with a naval force when you are. And he means it. I'm telling you, man. This is not over yet. These demos could end the day for blue. This is why you need regular galleons. Fire's also not so good against demos. Yellow's not ready, though. That's the problem. Not yet. He is clearing up Blue's trade, and when that happens, Blue's going to get more units. Actually, where is Strode's king right now? Oh, his king is in a tower, which is behind a castle. Interesting. And then Yellow has his king here. I'm asking because I see this right now. Siege rams. And yellow deleted all of his land pop to get navy. No way. He deleted all of his land pop to get navy, and now he needs land pop to survive, but he doesn't know it yet. Whoa. Well, blue's taking his time, but siege rams will be coming in. There's only one castle left for yellow. So if he notices this, he needs to get a bunch of swordsmen here right now. He does kind of see it, but of course he's probably focused here. We've got the community game pressure. And Yellow says, I have a wood problem. You know, there's a pill for that, okay? Don't need to bring that conversation into Age of Empires. We're a wholesome community. I mean, so does Sir Explosive Hopper. Uh, I thought he would have like 20,000 wood and I could make a joke about going to the doctor because that would last longer than four hours, but uh, he doesn't have that much actually. He doesn't have that much. Good defense. Here are the demos! Let's go! I'm telling you, man. Your explosive hopper. He's got to be really careful about this. 
He is making his own demos, though, so I guess he could go demo v demo. Oh, God. You ready to see a bunch of fires disappear? You went to see a magic trick? Because <laughs> say goodbye to fires. But also, yellow could lose the king here. Yellow was massing navy, and now the rams come in. And it's so sad for Yellow because he does actually have the food to make swordsmen. But he's using the market. He just sold all of his food to buy wood. So he does not realize this is happening. And he's going to die. Meaning this will be a 1v1. Oh, wait. It's in the TC. It still feels like he should die. Oh, he's on the move. Oh, he's on the move. Oh. He's dead. Strode had just sent yellow wood as well. So now Strode, how much wood does he have? He's only got a thousand wood. And he just sent it to a dead man. We have ourselves a 1v1 game. And Strode says, GG man, well done. I think he realizes that he knows he can't do it now. He respects Sir Explosive Hopper for what he's done here. Unless, of course, he was talking to yellow. And he might have been talking to yellow. Out of respect for yellow, I'm not sure. But, wow. It doesn't seem like, yeah, it doesn't seem like Schroeder's is even going to put up a fight here. And as Teal's onagers are going to get a couple hits in at the very end. <laughs> the king goes down. Oh my god. That was actually so good. I can't get over that. I almost don't want to ever upload that to YouTube because it's going to ruin all future community games. What in the... Well played, well played. Congratulations, congratulations. What in the world, dude? Like... Okay, so so in community game, I'm trying to think about how to, to put these thoughts to words right now. So everyone's got their own intentions right everyone well not everyone some people just want to survive but usually you want to win right you want to kill some kings or you want to work with your team okay i don't know if i've ever seen a player do things for someone that also benefit benefited himself at the same time usually it's like hey i'm gonna lie to this person and do something else ah big surprise i tricked you haha -ha. but after like once or twice one or two times people call you out on that and people were like, okay, this guy's a liar. So I don't know how Blue in the moment is able to realize that he can say one thing to someone and then do something that truly benefits Blue's endgame, but also in that moment benefits that individual to where that individual does not get upset or annoyed and then start this big, this big gang up on him. I mean, it was so good. Like, let's talk about just king kills, right? Strode, obviously. Hopper also killed Yellow. He also killed Teal. He also killed Green. He also killed Purple. The only person Sir Explosive Hopper did not kill, so it's not like he just sat back and won with a wonder, was Red, who disconnected due to the game. The Definitive Edition killed him. And then Gray, who was killed off by Green. Ian says, Yellow here uh, should have paid attention to Blue earlier. If you guys only knew, you guys say you respect him, but he was just playing the fiddle on both sides. It was incredible. That was so crazy. And he had a legend video last month. This will definitely go up. And with Regicide Rumble next week, and I'm going to be rigging some people in. The stakes are going to be higher. There's going to be money on the line. I might just... Well, you know what, Sir Explosive Hopper? This, this might have come at a bad time for you. Because a few more people might have just woken up. But uh, you might be getting a phone call. <laughs> Not a phone call. What is, how, what is that? You might be getting a Discord message from me. I might want to squeeze you into Regicide Rumble 4 next week. Um, you know, with the trade profit, that was obviously going to be a great thing in the long term for Blue. Again, I think the key was... Was, we've seen a lot of games where people sit back and trade. But he was doing things that was helping people. Um... He was he was communicating with people. He he was he had value to teams on either side, which went such a long way. So uh, it wasn't just the trade, but it was doing that alongside the other things. We had tons of food for yellow. I felt a little bad for yellow because yellow um, 
he felt a little like he didn't have his teammate fighting with him. They were fighting together, but they were they were separated. It was the same for Strode. Like Strode didn't really have a lot of support from Green directly a lot of the time, um, so it was awkward for Yellow. He did a, a good got a good game. Sorry, <clears throat> I felt bad for Purple too. But man, was it hilarious that Purple announced to everyone that he was going to kill Strode. <laughs> Purple probably was blushing so hard in that moment. Because I thought it might have worked. Strode didn't have his king in a tower or anything for that moment. But yeah, GG, man. Sir Explosive Hopper, community game legend. He's playing people like a fiddle all game long. That was, that was just nuts.